More than 20,000 Tennesseans are considered to have recovered from COVID-19, but many of those people are fighting effects lasting longer than the virus itself. We first introduced you to a Nashville woman who was isolating in March. More than three months later, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres says her road to recovery is stretching longer than expected. Right now we're in my atelier, which is the design room and the showroom for the brand. As a luxury fashion designer from Nashville. This is one of our best sellers. Kavanaugh Baker. It's made of Italian mohair. Was forced to take a break for something far from glamorous. It literally felt like someone was stabbing me with a knife in my chest. Uh, it's showing up in younger people. Like for about six people. weeks, Baker was in isolation after catching the coronavirus in Alabama in March. I'm literally just exhausted. While she no longer has the virus, she's still not completely healed more than three months later. I ended up being diagnosed with pericarditis, which is the swelling of the heart, um, pleurisy, which is the swelling of the lungs. Health complications from COVID-19 showed her how complicated it was to get treatment for her new set of symptoms. I, it took about 24 days for a doctor to finally see me. Corona update. But it took numerous attempts, updates on social media, and a few more weeks before getting the right help. Someone saw my Instagram stories, and it's actually a client of mine, and her husband's a cardiologist here in town. This is Mufasa. Hey, baby. She finally received the proper medication and only started feeling better two weeks ago. I know, she's fabulous. And now that she's back at work, she wants to use her time and skills in creating masks like this one that people can buy online. And comes with metal in the nose, at the bridge of the nose for shape, and then also toggles at the ear for fit. To this day, Baker is still experiencing some pain. With a slight upward trend in cases, Baker says this is the season to wear any concerns on your sleeve. My advice is to be your own advocate for your own health. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.